hello dear students hope you are doing well and uh, i think you must have watched the previous two videos in which i talked about uh, triangles angle bisectors medians and uh, location of uh, in center centroid in different types of triangles so today in this video we are going to explore about another interesting mathematical term which is called circumcenter how do we get it and uh, location of circumcenter in different types of triangles i hope you all are ready you can use this geogebra application and it's available in google play store the link of this you will find in the description of this video right so here you can see that we have triangle abc and uh, if we try to draw the perpendicular bisectors of the sides see what happens so here we have drawn perpendicular bisector of the side bc and uh, this line is perpendicular bisector of side ac and uh, we have got the perpendicular bisector of the side ab also observe closely that all the three perpendicular bisectors they meet at a common point right and uh, this point of concurrency of the three perpendicular bisectors is called as circumcenter so let me take your attention to the point we are talking about this point so this point is the point of concurrency of the three perpendicular bisectors you know what is a perpendicular bisector so it is basically a line which is perpendicular to the side and it divides the line segment into two equal halves right so here if i would like to mark let uh, this pq is the perpendicular bisector of uh, bc and we see that angle p uh, let me mark this point also let this point be r so angle p r b and angle p r c both are equal to 90 degrees right and uh, b r is equal to r c this is how we define the perpendicular bisector of a line segment i hope you have watched the videos in which we did a paper folding activity on getting the perpendicular bisector there also we learned the definition of perpendicular bisector of a line segment so we see that in a triangle as there are three sides so we will be having the three perpendicular bisectors and uh, all the three perpendicular bisectors they meet at a common point and that point of concurrency is called circumcenter right now we will be exploring this point of concurrency that is d right now in different types of uh, triangles what is the location of this okay so for that what we can do is we can take the angle measure tool and let us get the measurement of these angles so we have got angle b then angle a and angle c right so right now we see that it is an acute triangle because um, all the three angles angle a angle b and angle c they are less than 90 degrees and we see that in an acute triangle in any acute triangle you see that this uh, circumcenter is in the interior of the triangle isn't it so every time you see you get an acute triangle you see that the location of cir circumcenter is in the interior of the triangle right what happens if we get an obtuse triangle let us see okay this is very interesting so when we get an obtuse triangle see where this point d has moved yes you are observing it right that point of concurrency of the three 
perpendicular bisectors of the sides is moved out in, from the triangle. So, it is in the exterior of the triangle, isn't it? Now, let us see what happens. You see, every time you get an obtuse triangle, this point D is outside the triangle. So, we say that it is its location is in the exterior of the triangle, right? See what happens if we get a right triangle. Just try to see. I'm trying to get a right triangle. So, if we get a right triangle, we notice that this point D comes on the hypotenuse of the right triangle. And you will see that this point D is midpoint of this hypotenuse. Okay. So, this also we can verify by taking the midpoint tool you can see that the point D will coincide with the midpoint E. Right? So, here interesting observations we can get by moving the points uh, A, B and C and we see that in different types of uh, triangles how we are getting this uh, location of the centroid sorry this uh, point D which is called the circumcenter. Now you see here I have taken point E as the midpoint of the hypotenuse of the right triangle here ABC and when this point D and E coincides you will see that we get a right triangle right so this is how we explore geometry on uh, geogebra it's a very interesting software and uh, you can write down these observations in your notebook now in the next video we'll we'll be exploring about another mathematical term from the chapter triangles and that will be ortho center we will understand about altitude and then location of ortho center in different types of triangles. So, these uh, four basic terms which uh, uh, are related to the concurrency of uh, uh, this uh, median angle bisector, perpendicular bisectors or altitude, they are very interesting in this particular chapter, right? So, you write down these observations. And uh, I hope you are enjoying these um, interactive mathematics lessons and do give your feedback and uh, try to do it on your own. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.